In this video, I want to talk a little bit about two Chinese companies that I think that uh, might interest you. One of those companies is called Baidu, and the other one is called Baba. Alibaba and Baidu. Alibaba is a company that's very much, I would say, uh, China's Amazon. So that's what Alibaba is. And then Baidu is China's Google. Okay, so let's take a look at, just for fun, this is, um, this is Baidu's website. Uh, if you look at it from kind of a, a point of view of Google, it looks very familiar, doesn't it? It looks pretty much they're just copying what Google's done, and they've done it for China. So this is China's Google, and that's what Baidu is. Now, Baidu is a Chinese multinational technology company specializing in Internet-related services and products and artificial intelligence headquartered in Beijing. It is one of the largest AI and Internet companies in the world. Revenue $102.3 billion in 2018. So it's a pretty big company. And again, it is the Chinese Google. So let's come over and take just a real quick look at Baidu. This is the stock on Baidu. Now we made a recommendation here, oh, about a couple weeks ago. And we got long this market with a synthetic long position with using options. And so you can see we're up okay on this nice little test purchase in here, as Doc Brown likes to call them, a test purchase. We got in uh, testing this market for long position. It's been doing pretty well for us. Uh, and so I wanted to bring your attention to this market uh, once again and uh, show you Baidu and what we're doing with Baidu. Again, we're looking for long position. I want to take you over to tip ranks and show you tip ranks. Tip ranks, if we look at the, you notice I've got in here the, the, the four star and five star analysts and they're listed here and you can see how they've got their uh, portfolios. They've got buys and holds all in here. Now for the future, they're not giving a, a huge recommendation. They're a little bit neutral on this. Uh, you can see their high is recommending 175 and their low is 118. So if we come in here and we draw our box and we're gonna just draw our, our long-term box for the next 12 months. We're gonna come in here and I'm gonna come in and draw my box from 118 and they're gonna say that the low for this year is around 118 so I like to draw a box starting around around 118 you can see right there and then they say the high is 175 so over the next year this is what the analysts are planning on and then going out 12 months and so you can see uh, on the options that I have put on here currently I have 162 days and we are already you know reaching up Pretty good uh, if we just draw that in as a Fibonacci ruler for projection off of here. You can see that we're already up into the 61.8 or the 38.2 projection level. We're up to 38.2 on the Fibonacci ruler uh, for the projection. Now I'm a little bit more optimistic on Baidu. If we come over here to the weekly chart, you can see I've done a little bit of analysis on here on the weekly chart. From the top to the bottom of this market, you can see this is the uh, Fibonacci ruler I've laid in here. And we've just started our rebound back on the weekly chart. Notice uh, that we've had the ABC pattern in here. And this is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for it to come back and test this neutral area that it had back in uh, mid uh, first part of uh, 2019. Uh, we had this drop off, and this is primarily because of the trade war that we've got going on with China, right? Uh, Trump keeps saying that he wants to solve that problem. We keep coming closer. It keeps going, dropping back, coming closer, dropping back. And we have good news, bad news, good news, bad news. And so that's caused this, uh, what has otherwise been a very nice stock to continue to fall. And uh, as we get down into a region where it's like, well, you know, how much lower can this thing go? And the trade talks become, you know, it's really all dependent on the trade talks. And so this market started to rally as we have some anticipation that the trade talks are coming to an end. But Baidu is a good company, long-term investment, and I'm looking for a long-term outlook on this one uh, to be a little bit more positive here coming into the year as we come back and test some of these previous highs. Uh, again, all dependent on the Chinese uh, trade talks. So the next company I'm interested in is Alibaba. And we're going to come over and we're going to take a look at Alibaba. So this is Alibaba, and as you can see, uh, this market's been uh, just going straight up like a rocket ship. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why it did that. First of all, I want to just draw a horizontal line across here. And as you can see, just kind of across this peak right in here, you can see we have one, two, three peaks across here, four peaks. It's just kind of been staying sideways for a long period of time. As it was anticipating, uh, the public offering or the release of this, the ability to trade this over on the Chinese stock exchange. Right now this is being traded here on the New York stock exchange and that's what we're seeing here. But this is where uh, Alibaba became a publicly traded company in China. 
And so this market took off like a shot. We took a little long position in here, took a little bit of profit off this initial offering. It pulled back and came back in, and we missed this next run. So we were waiting for a hesitation for another uh, uh, switch over change over here on the blue lights uh, and with the bulls and bears. We got that, and so we're taking a long position in Alibaba right now. This is a cautious long position because I want to, uh, you know, the market's all excited, and the Chinese uh, market is excited because this is a new IPO for them, and this is one of their uh, darlings of their of of uh, of the Chinese market. And if I bring you over, and this is the um, Alibaba website. Alibaba is, as I mentioned earlier, is Amazon for uh, China, and. So, it's a really super popular website. If you if you take a look at this thing, it looks very much like Amazon. And if we pull up the uh, little bit of extra information about Alibaba, you can see Alibaba Group Holdings is a Chinese multinational conglomerate holding company specializing in e-commerce, retail, internet, and technology. Uh, the revenue is $376.8 billion. It's huge. This is a big company. Okay. That's $56 billion U.S. dollars. And uh, what's interesting about this company is is it's very popular. It's very common. If you watch much YouTube, uh, uh, you'll always run into these ads for people who are trying to teach you how to sell on Amazon. Oh, come and be rich on Amazon. All you have to do is buy stuff from Alibaba and come over and sell it on Amazon. So almost everything that's in Alibaba is also on Amazon. So it's these, um, it's these uh, internet uh, marketers that'll come over. They buy a whole bunch of inventory from a Alibaba people from Alibaba and then they just go and they list it on Amazon and they sell it on Amazon or they sell it on eBay. So that's where they're getting all their products is from Alibaba and there's another one called AliExpress. And these are two uh, two big Alibaba companies that provide a lot of Chinese products to the US and most of this stuff ends up over here on Amazon and on eBay. So it's a big company and a big source of products for Amazon. All right, so that's that's Alibaba, and we're uh, interested in trading Alibaba. We've taken another long position in Alibaba here. You can see it's got a 99 days until expiration. If we swing on over and we take a look at uh, tip ranks, uh, on tip ranks you can see that the analysts, once again, we're just looking at the top four and five analysts in here, and they're ranking it over the next 12 months somewhere between 200 and 280 dollars. 200 on the low, 280 on the high. Now, I think the reason they're thinking 200 on the low is simply because, uh, you know, we've still got the these talks going on with China uh, and the trade talks. So that's a, a little bit of a deterrent in here. But if we take this Fibonacci ruler and we just draw it in here, I want to draw it from the top down this time. And I want to draw the bottom side down here to uh, 200. So there's a little bit of downside still, they, they believe, going on. But it's the upside that's important, 280. So if we go all the way up here to 280, this is where they're anticipating by the end of the year, this market should be somewhere uh, in this region here. So we're going to go out drag this thing out a little bit. And that's kind of our Fibonacci ruler uh, for the next year. We haven't even hit 38.2 on the projection to the upside yet. Uh, if it goes up and hangs out inside this 50% level or up, breaks up and gets the high of the of the anticipation, uh, there's some still some pretty significant uh, market movement available left in this market over the next year. So this is why we're recommending a long position and probably want to pick up a long leap in this one, either one, two, three, ten, however many you feel comfortable with picking up your leap position. You could also come in here and not just buy one like I've done here. I've got, uh, you can see 99 days on this one. You could come in and you could buy your, your leap and then you could sell a whole bunch of shorter term uh, calls against it. And that's called, you know, it'd be kind of like a covered call and just pick up a, a bunch of small premium as you own this long term leap and then sell some shorter term premium uh, against it as the market uh, maybe pulls back or starts to rally once again. So those are just a couple of strategies, a couple of Chinese stocks that I thought you'd find interesting. Um, I'm I'm very interested in Baba and Baidu. Uh, been trading them for a while. Uh, been always been on my radar, and so I thought I'd bring those to your attention as well. Thank you.